Hello. My name's Detective John Watson. I've been following this case for practically years now. It's actually my off day. I'm on the brink of a massive breakthrough. Uh, so, John, uh, what's this case about? You never actually told us. Well, it's actually quite serious. Um, it's pretty difficult to go into the actual details right now. It's confidential, but i tell you one thing for sure, boys. Someone stole a lot of money. Got the truckload. Of monopoly money. Really, Rick? Do you hear this guy? What? What's he talking about, Rick? As I was saying, on the verge of a giant breakthrough. Right after I had a blank streak of no evidence, I picked up one from the footprints at the scene of the crime. What's going on right now? Oh my god! This guy's really into it for it just being Monopoly money, don't you think, Rick? Yeah, Bill. He seems kind of insane to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get over here. What? I'm not okay. paying you to just stand around and talk. What is... Oh! <laughs> what is it? This... This is amazing. I, uh... It's the best discovery of my life. I've been working on this case forever. Hey, get back! We'll take the evidence! Ruin my career! Oh. Basically, Rick, get life. out of the shot! <laughs> Rick! <laughs> right. Okay. Can I just get a close-up of it? This is five million dollars in Monopoly money. All right, I gotta bring this back to the station. Rick! Rick! Get what? your... Get another shot! Okay, sorry, boss. God. Get out of my way, you're practically stepping on my feet. Am I? Sorry, just a second. Bill, God! You know, I think I might just cut the camera until I get a good shot. Good idea. Where could it lead? Uh oh, John's uh, out, out there kind of person. We sometimes think he takes his job too seriously. Got that right. That kid's been draining his, this, this station's money for his dumb little investigation since his father dropped him off here when he was a little kid. How he said he wanted to be his little hero, Sherlock Holmes. What a whack job. Yeah, got that right. I won't let you down. I've narrowed it down to several suspects. One, Vladimir Putin. He has been known for having an affinity for money. I don't think he's going to connect himself to this case. It's too high profile for him. Sasquatch. Wait, wrong case. Um, uh, Monopoly Man. He's thought not to be a true character. He seems to be fictional, but amateur photos have shown him to be true and a real person. Two. One. Well, obviously it's useless unless you're an even bigger Dimbo. You're not on this case for a reason, Dale. Whatever you think. Ignore him. Anyway, I've narrowed it down to just use this. The trouble's gonna be finding him. Good thing I have this fingerprint that I found on the dollar. Don't worry. It's there. It's there. All we have to do is check every container that's passed through the port in the past week for fingerprints. And <laughs> You'll never find me after I've transferred this money and get out of the country. You look like a freak. You come from one of them comic book conventions or something? Just give me what I want and I'll give you the key to the container. Alright! Down on the ground! You're being arrested! 
You stole five million dollars in Monopoly money. Get down on the ground now. That wasn't real money. Dude, what's going on here? Game's over, Eustace. You've had your time. Now you're going to jail. Get on here. Can I get a shot of the inside of it? No. It's too graphic for any untrained eye. All right. I, oh all right, I guess. Get back over here. Get over here! You're going to do hard time, criminal! You stole too much monopoly money and got over your head! Stop supposed to end this way! Well, it is for you! Well, justice has been served today. We've caught a criminal and got a menace off the streets. Shut up. You, you solved the, the mystery of, like, monopoly money. You didn't solve the murder of a politician or anything like that. Jeez. Dale, for once, will you just shut up? No, you shut up. Bill, just cut it. This isn't going anywhere. This is ridiculous.